a lot of people have been asking me lately, why am I not doing coding content anymore? I've gotten a few comments as well where people point out that this isn't the content that they signed up for. And I wanted to talk about coding content and I wanted to talk about a little bit why I'm shifting away from it. On YouTube, people stick to a niche because they eventually want to capitalize on monetizing that niche as best as they can. Whether it be sponsors who wanna target specific audiences or if it's a product that the creator himself is gonna build to try to target people in that audience or they wanna do coaching and make money off of you hourly or anything that revolves around making money in that niche. If you've ever like researched how to make YouTube videos, you're gonna find a lot of people that will tell you that you need the niche down and the riches are in the niches and that that's what you should focus on. The YouTube algorithm and pandering to it has made content very watered down. We're pretty much just all marketers now trying to sell whatever niche or product or idea it is that we try to sell you is what we become. And a big reason why I don't want to specifically just make programming content anymore. One main thing is that a lot of the sponsors that have reached out to me that I have turned down or just ignore are kind of shady and they really seem to just want to target my audience to make money off of them and not in a good way, not, not in a way where I feel that they actually bring value and they offer me large sums of money in order for me to say good things about them to my audience because they know that I've established a relationship with my audience and they know that it would be easier for them to sell their product to my audience if I put my name behind it. And the sponsors that I have worked with are only sponsors that I do feel bring value or that I feel aren't necessarily trying to get over on my audience. And that's something that I'm gonna keep no matter what niche I go into. And then I watch other YouTubers who have zero shame when it comes to selling stuff to their audience and will plug any sponsor that is willing to throw some money at them. And then I question myself and my ethics and I start thinking, well, I could be making a lot more money if I didn't mind you know, ripping off my audience or taking a sponsor that's super sketchy. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna do that. I don't have anything that I wanna sell to you guys. I don't wanna create courses to try to teach you how to learn how to code. There's plenty of stuff out there that does that already and that does it way better than I do. So if I don't want to make money off of sleazy sponsors and I don't want to create some mediocre product to try to sell you guys, then why am I making this content? The truth is that learning how to code self-taught is just something that I did and I made videos around that because it was something that I could talk about but there's only a certain amount of times that I can say the same thing over and over before it gets repetitive. And there's only a certain amount of ways that I can keep making the same video over and over. I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers that just keeps talking about the same thing for 10 years. That doesn't sound fun to me. That doesn't sound like something that I could do long-term. If I wanted to do the same thing, over and over and over, I would have just kept my job as a developer. Instead, I wanna branch out and talk about different stuff and feel like I can be more creative in the things that I do talk about and the videos that I make. I don't have any intention to continue to coach people on learning how to code. I just wanted to share how I did it and I feel like I've said as much as I could. Now, don't get me wrong, if I find a topic that's interesting or something that I think is worth talking about in the programming realm, of course I'm gonna make a video on that because that's still what I originally created this channel about. I still follow a lot of that stuff and if I see something that's interesting, I'm gonna talk about it. But at the same time, I'm not gonna go out of my way to continue talking about how you too can learn how to code and become a self-taught programmer because the truth is, I've got like 250 videos on that stuff and some of them only have like a thousand views. So it means that a lot of the people that are asking for this content aren't even really looking through the content that I've already made. They just want to be entertained by the topic that they signed up for. Because at the end of the day, many people who are setting out to learn how to code and many people who are actually trying to do this, they don't sit around watching YouTube videos a lot. And that's the truth. I know that when I was learning how to code, the YouTube videos were kind of like a supplemental thing that when I was feeling like I might need a little motivation or if I was actually specifically trying to learn a certain thing, I would go out and look for the videos on that stuff. But I didn't sit around watching YouTube videos all day. I sat around on my computer 
computer coding all day and watching tutorials and doing what I needed to do in order to get a job and in order for me to learn how to code. So the same people who are asking me to keep making the content that they signed up for are the same people who are probably not even going to learn how to code. So why tailor my content to those people? Also, if I look at my analytics, it shows that a lot of the views that I'm getting are from non-subscribers. So while I do wanna keep my subscribers happy and make content that they'll enjoy, the data shows that not many of you are the ones that are actually watching my stuff. And then I go and I look at some of my top videos and a lot of them aren't really about learning how to code. Then I get all confused and it's one of the reasons why I don't really like YouTube because I then try to make like the best videos and I, and I don't actually try to make videos like this where I just talk to the camera because it feels like if I don't make a perfect video then my channel's gonna die and, it, and then it causes me to burn out and it causes me to just like try to make the perfect video every time which then ends up being bad because then I'm only catering to the algorithm and I'm only catering to trying to get views instead of just sharing stories and talking about things that can help people. And I feel that that's what I wanna do, but of course I'm still gonna have to feed the algorithm once in a while because if I do wanna do this as a thing that I do for a while, I have to stay relevant, I have to talk about trendy stuff, and I have to keep making the videos that will help me continue to grow outside of my niche. The YouTube studio app is super, super stressful and it's like extremely bad for your mental health. Every time I, I release a new video, I keep refreshing the app, hoping for the numbers to go up. And whenever you have a video that does bad or if your channel's on a downward trend, it really takes a toll on you. And now that I'm doing this stuff full time and the fact that I don't do a bunch of sponsors and ad revenue is a big portion of my income right now, it's like extra stressful and I want to take it back to how I felt when I first created the channel where it was this fun thing I was doing and I would turn on the camera and just talk and make a video that I wanted to make in order to help people or whatever it was I was doing it for. I, I honestly, I don't even know anymore. I look back now and yeah, I wanted my channel to grow and like I dreamed of the day that I could have 100,000 subscribers and now that plaque sits in a box in a storage unit five, 6,000 miles away from where I'm at right now because I'm on like the other side of the world and I don't even care about the numbers, but I do. I It's strange because now I have 200,000 subscribers, but it still feels like I have 2,000. The way I feel personally hasn't changed. Like I am still the person I was when I started this channel and I am gonna continue to be the person that I am. But what's weird is as the numbers get bigger, you feel like you have to live up to your subscriber count. You have to live up to how well your last video performed or you have to live up to how well your next video is going to perform. And if your thumbnail is not on point and your title's not clickbaity and you don't make something that's going to get views, then you're failing. And that graph starts to just go down and down and down. And it really just it really messes with you. First world problems, right? I'm complaining about a good thing. I have, I have a channel that's doing well. I actually do have sponsors that are reaching out to me. I've got a few sponsored videos that are gonna be coming out. I want to grow this channel the way I want to grow it. And I feel that the only reason why it's grown to be as big as it is and continues to grow because it is doing well is the fact that I have done things how I wanted to. And while I do pander to the algorithm and I do try to catch trends and I do try to make good thumbnails and good titles and I do use clickbait, which I get a bunch of hate in the comments for, it's just part of doing this. It's just part of being a YouTuber. It's just part of trying to keep up with the algorithm and it's just part of the job. And when YouTube became a job for me, that's what I had to do in order to keep it going and make a living from it. But at the same time, I'm convinced that it's not the case. And while I do feel that there is a bunch of people out there who are just gonna keep making trendy videos and keep trying to pump those numbers and keep trying to grow their channel to be just like everyone else, I want to break away from that a little bit. But it's a balance game and it's, it's hard because I, when I do make a video that I don't expect to do well, that does well, 
then I try to think about, well, what made that video so special? And I can't really put my finger on it. Many of the times it's just when I'm being real and I feel that maybe that's what's missing from YouTube is that there's just so many fake people, Photoshop thumbnails and just watered down content that everyone keeps making. And it's exhausting to keep up. Um, but it's the path that I chose to take. It's what I decided to do and I'm going to do it and I'm going to hopefully figure out where it is I'm going to take this. And I don't want to just make videos on the same topic over and over and over again in order to sell my audience something or so that I can create a course or that I can just squeeze money out of you guys until I am that guy that is just making the same video for the next 10 years. I see programming YouTubers that do it and I see YouTubers who do it in all other niches and they build this thing around one specific audience and one specific topic and then they get stuck and they can't ever make a video on a different topic because they're just so tied to their niche and that becomes their whole persona and that becomes who they are and it's weird because I can tell that there's a lot of people who probably like I did started this because they wanted to just have some fun and maybe make a little money doing it that they end up becoming someone who they're not, they become the YouTuber that they are. And then that's like everything they do and everything they talk about and every podcast they're on or every tweet or every single existence of their being becomes their niche and their target audience. And I don't want to have a target audience. I want to have an audience from all over. I want people who are interested in coding who uh, may also have struggled with addiction in their life or have maybe had crazy childhoods and grew up rough or are interested in breaking out from the rat race and starting their own business or becoming YouTubers or whatever it might be. I want to be able to talk to everyone, not just a small little portion of the world. I want to be able to spread my message and my voice across all kinds of platforms and across all types of audiences that aren't so specifically tied into just one thing meant to be marketed to. You'll always hear people talk about how, you know, you need to niche down if you want to make money doing this. And then you follow that advice. And when you become that person, when you come the motivational learn to code guy and you don't want to be that, but you have to keep doing it in order to survive and to keep that needle moving or to keep those numbers going going up, it, it's exhausting and I don't want to do it anymore. And that is a big reason why I decided to start making different content and talk about more of the stuff that I'm doing and more of the stuff that I'm interested in and more stuff that might be able to help people in different ways beyond just becoming a self-taught programmer. I miss when YouTube was just about like having a parasocial relationship with some random person on the internet who has no idea who you are, but you just like their personality and what they have to say. That's the end of my rant and my uh, bitching about YouTube for now. I feel like I always make one of these videos like every few months. So I was due for one considering that my channel has grown quite a bit and I've been um, doing different stuff and trying to, trying to take it to the next level, I guess. With that said, for the people who are wondering, consider this a channel update because I haven't done one in a while and I'm at 200,000 subscribers now. And it feels like I owe it to everyone who has been here along the way and following me and like watching my videos, I want you to know that I'm still gonna keep making videos. I just might not make the videos that you signed up for, but hopefully I still make videos that will bring you value. And if at any point you feel like I'm not bringing you value or you don't like the stuff that I'm talking about, there's no hard feelings. I'm happy that I was able to help you when I did or bring you value or entertainment and if I'm moving in a direction that you feel doesn't line up with what you want to see on YouTube or what you come here for. It's cool. No hard feelings. I'm happy that you decided to watch when you did. And I'm sorry if you don't continue watching, but I understand. All right. With all that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for 200,000 subscribers. Thanks for everything. Because honestly, this has been really, really cool and has opened up opportunities that I never thought I'd, I'd have. And the fact that I am actually doing this is still pretty crazy. And the fact that I am going to continue to do this for a while is also still pretty crazy. Thanks for watching. And here's to 500,000 subscribers next, I guess. All right. Peace.